Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Daily message in here, loves. Whatever in the world you are, let's in tune and see what is about for this day. December 15th. We have just a few days left by the full moon in Gemini. Yes, dual zodiac sign as we are in the season of the Sage. Two dual zodiac signs, flexible signs. As well, you know, going forward, full moon in Gemini speaks about choose your path. Go forward with your choices. As well, for many of you, you might have a choice to stay in the energy where you are or to move forward into something new. And speaking of, we going on the 19th with Venus in retrograde, which also speaks about relationships. Whatever we hold and connect strongly on an emotional level. And yes, Venus rules Libras as well, the Tauruses. Quite strong astral energy around here. But let's see here, loves. I choose the Monology deck for advice at the end of the reading and the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot with the messages. Let's see here, loves. For some of you, indeed, here there is a choice to be made. Make sure you are not make a choice just because you are angry or you have a fixation energy or even afraid. The thing is to not rush. Take your time. As well, you know, retrogrades brings us introspections, reflections of any kind. As well in the retrogrades is not a good time to take any actions or go forward with something which later on we might think of. Let's see loves. What we have for this day, mid month. Goodness, this month goes quite fast. We have four of pentacles, four of cups, queen of wands, and seven of swords. So somebody here might try to offer you something. Feels quite not what you were looking or quite not you are expecting to be given. Because I see you a little holding that energy that I'm not quite sure if this is right for me. I don't trust you. There's something here like a mistrust or there's an energy here that whoever comes to you feels sketchy. Seven of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Hierophant, Two of Cups, Knight of Swords, Nine of Cups, Two of Swords, and Page of Wands. Goodness. So somebody here might want to avoid any trouble or any drama. That's basically the energy, very, very strong. And as you see here, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Page of Wands. But we have two Knights, the slowest, the fastest, and a messenger, because pages, you know, are about messengers. For some of you, you didn't heard from somebody for a very long time. 
and I feel here they might want to contact you or they actually are contacting you. What I'm seeing here, the energy of this person, it feels kind of they, they want one thing, but they need to do another. I hope you love to understand me. Because somebody here feels like that's the way to go. It's like it's my duty kind of to come forward. That's very, very strong here. Another thing here, whomever I'm speaking here is like they, it's a very uncomfortable energy for someone to do whatever they do. It's either they never done this or they don't want and they need to, whatever that case is. But I will clarify first thing first the knights and the page knight of pentacles we have the empress and the sun and the three of swords the knight of swords ten of wands four of wands and the devil. Page of Wands, High Priestess, Eight of Pentacles, and Six of Pentacles. And Page of Swords. So yes, loves, somebody here comes forward, you either expect them or either do not. I don't feel here you loves communicate with this person or have been communicating with this person for quite a while. I have here 16, 18 a month, could be one year and a half no communication could be two years no communication with this person whatsoever they coming forward and most likely i feel here this person you know some people come forward Yes, they might feel sorry, but something here, they, they can't, you know, they, they can't get it or they don't understand or they try to understand, but doesn't make, doesn't connect the dots and things like that. And for some of you, you might have children with this person a very stubborn person keep in mind but i don't feel they are way stubborn than you are i feel them quite confused and i see them quite obsessed to come forward whoever is this person for some of you, you already could have somebody new in your life. Try to make the things work out. If you do have somebody in your life or start dating or whatever, even living with them, that person might freak out a little bit. Like why this person comes back? 
what was the reason of them and things like that. I put tremendous effort in here to to work through this connection and now they're showing up. The thing is for many of you, you did knew that this person is coming or will come or will show at one point. And I don't see you communicating with them right now, but it's coming communication. And then you will be a little out of balance or you fe will feel a little out of balance when they are showing up, whatever they are here to say. So could be somebody as an earth sign. I have Taurus. I have Capricorn. Could be a Virgo. I have Libra. Could be Sun in Taurus. I have Leo. Very strong. As well could be another fire sign. Or a Piscean. Or somebody who have Pisces in the chart. All right, loves. Let's see here. Why this person now comes forward? What they have to say? As well, as you see here, we do have four of wands, four of cups, four of pentacles. Four of swords is missing. Whatever it's coming to you, loves whomever it's coming you need to think not once not twice but a few times before you open up your mouth or before you want to make any decisions regards whatever it's there it's a very very it's kind of it's quite crucial because your word or your action will reflect on your future okay let's see here why this person comes now what I have to say what they are messages are okay okay so we have a jumper lovers do they love you do they choose to come forward they might show up even today even if it's a daily or right around the full moon in Gemini loves so again, it's about choices. So they are choosing to show up. Why? They keeping an eye on you or you've been keeping an eye on them. Let's see. One more card. If they've been watching you, because I feel here this person keep an eye on you for a very long time. And Page of Swords is somebody who is watching, doesn't really communicate. Could be in a great way, could be in a weird way. But I feel here this person were watching you, could be even from afar. Could have also this person, Gemini, in the chart. world they might not be where you are so they might travel towards you as well there's something here ended in their life so now they come forward it is an X because we have Queen and the King of Wands loves or this person have tremendous passion and love for you. Probably in the past were not quite sure or felt. You know, sometimes people date and over the sudden they, they're not quite sure what they want. So I feel here, whoever is this person, they, they were not sure what they truly want. And... Or whatever they offer to you at that time were not quite what you were looking because seven of cups in their past 
I feel like somebody here was looking for an option and you were not into being an option. That's awesome. And who I'm speaking here are you loves. Might know your true worth. One more message here from this person. It's kind of like this person got the courage to come forward. Four of Swords. Yeah, they've been thinking quite a lot. Seven of Cups. The Eight of Cups, pardon me. Eight of Cups very much, you know, speaks about leaving a situation behind. So if they've been in some sort of situation, they left it behind. And I feel here you might be in their thoughts quite a lot. Or what's next for me? They are thinking, they are quite anxious for their future. Emperor. So here we are, loves. With the Emperor, I feel here this person, it's kind of like I'm done thinking. I gotta take the move. Let's see you, loves. What are you gonna do? Or what's your thoughts? What's your actions? Or whatever is there? What the message universe wants to give to you? Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. And Ace of Pentacles. Five of Cups. As you know, many times the Five of Cups speaks about the third party, which you've been still crying, or you've been crying for a very good period, but there is a soulmate here. Two of Cups. And for some of you, you, you could be tired of waiting for this person to make the move or to be the one. And Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, it's kind of like, I'm out. I'm not gonna wait anymore. And I choose the new. So for some of you, you, you could have a new person into your life. And that was the, the wait over. For others of you, if you've been waiting for a long time for this person and they were not showing up, there's another person that shows up and you take the leap. And as you take the leap, this person comes back. Ironically, that's the thing here. That's the six of pentacles here. You gotta choose. And you gotta follow the intuition out there. Who put the effort or who you deep down wanna put the effort to make a balance or to make a life with. Because as you see here, we have six of pentacles and four of pentacles. This is the 10 of pentacles here. If you've been waiting somebody here to change, you are tired of waiting. So you take a new energy. So that's why you are quite hesitant because you might feel here whoever offers you might not be the one. Also for many of you, you do see this opportunity. Take it or not. But look also whatever was there and of course whatever you want for yourself. 
if you want to have that stable connection learn to be open for new possibilities because I'm feeling here for those of you who yes I want somebody into my life who wants to offer who is here and offer me that connection be open for the possibilities because the universe you know ace of pentacles speaks about a gift the universe is handling you a gift which is a stable one a tangible offer in here you are the one to choose but also whatever choice here be clear to not repeat the past Let's see, one more message in here. Moon and Ace of Cups. You know, sometimes the moon speaks that your deepest energy you hold inside. Are you afraid? Or you are going to conquer those fears and be happy you're the one to choose absolutely what are your emotions speaks to you because i see here five of ones and three of ones makes the eight of ones communication a balanced emotionally communication but feels here the five of wands and three of wands doesn't make that yet so for some of you you need to have a certain balance as well communication needs to be improved so that things start happening for you because I'm feeling here for some of you There is such a great energy. And I feel here, if you are single right now, here, this offer is very, very suiting you. And as you see here, this nine of pentacles looks like they would like something new. Heal those trust issues, loves, because I feel here there's big, big trust issues. Or could be those fears, I don't want to get hurt again. That's why master your emotions or look after yourself, not whatever other people are going to say. Whatever you do, do what feels deep, deep inside to be made. And let's hear what the oracle speaks. Here he is, loves the cardinal moon. Be bold and make the first move. Very much on you, this energy. You are good enough. And Step out of your comfort zone, my loves. North Node. Find your comfort zone where it is and step out. Sometimes, you know, risking or just take that step worth the move. And look at this. Show the world the real you. And I'm feeling here, whoever I'm speaking here, yes, you might have Aquarius, you might have Virgo in the chart. Doesn't necessarily to have this science, but I feel here there is something here that allow yourself to be happy. Allow yourself to be that genuine person you want to have in your life so everything starts with you you want honesty 
you gotta be honest with yourself. Not fear. Don't fear of the things you gonna make. Okay? So step out and be real. Show that. And look at here. Look at the bigger picture. At the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Which full moon in Sagittarius we have when we are moving into the season of the Gemini. Keep in mind that. Very, very strong. So loves. Yeah. You got to make that move. And you got to be bold. To step out that or from that energy. Because this very much it's putting in a question your stability. We have all the fourth. Your balance, your stability as a whole. So choose wisely, my loves. Choose wisely. And with that, move forward. As well, we have the sun and the moon. We have the empress and the emperor. And we have as well two knights, which are the fastest knights. And the, low, the slowest. So... That needs a balance between yin and yang energy. Between whatever you think is white and whatever you think it's black. So have a clear energy out there. As well, we do have the devil and we have the lovers. Which lovers is a connection which feels good a flowing connection the devil feels like you are gotta stay here don't go anywhere like you have restrictions so that is a very strong balance energy to be worked at this time i hope you guys get my message in here And that being said, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming in here today. Blessings. And we'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.